Yeah, because I'm too cheap to go out there and find an intro track. Yeah, sure. So today, folks, we are going to do a tire change. We are going to change the front tire on cinnamon, which has never actually been done before. We've never done a front tire change on cinnamon. I think we're on like the third rear tire, but as far as front tires go, this will be a first. And since we're here, we'll get a good shot of the center stand, a good shot of the SW Motec bash plate. We've also got the GV, the Jivy, Givy, whichever, Jivy um, engine guard. Believe it or not, this actually provides pretty good protection to the bike in the event of a fall. You know, the front tire is not completely dead, but the tread is a little worn on it. And I think this is just a good time to go ahead and get this done. We may even do an oil change later this week. So I've already got the tire purchased. We're going to put a Scorpion Trail 2 tire on here. Now, the Scorpion Trail 2 is the second edition. Um, back in 2014, Scorpion Trail was the um, OEM tire for the CB500X. And um, this tire is, I don't know if you can see that, uh, where is it? Made in China. The size here is a 12070ZR17, again that stock. And um, there we go with the 58W. And somewhere on here, let's see if I can find it. We do have the rotation arrows. You wanna also make always make sure that your tire's installed properly with the rotation arrows. If I didn't mention it, we are looking at a Pirelli tire here. They are the manufacturer. And I do not see on this side, so let me also see my little favorite thing, the little scorpion. I love that. Um, on the flip side here, we have our red dot. This is um, designed to show you where the um, heavier side of the tire is. This is a radial tubeless tire. It is a DOT tire. And let's see here, the other thing I wanted to show you, we've got some additional coating information. Um, as you can see, this is two rayon plus one steel sidewall, two rayon, um, the plies on here. So this is a multi, a multi ply tire. The outer parts of the tire, if you see out here, is actually a softer rubber than the center part of the tire. Can't really tell just looking at it, but it's designed to give you longer wear here in the center. And then out here on the outer sides, it's a softer rubber to give you better grip when you're actually out riding on the corners. And so that is a really great plus. And then finally, most importantly, one of the things I wanted to show you, if you look right here, you see this 0120, 01 actually represents the first week of 2020. The first two digits are the, the week number and the last two digits are the year. So this tire was manufactured in January of 2020, meaning, and right now we're in June of 2020. So this tire is about six months old. You don't want to put tires or use tires that are more than five years old. So next thing, I've got some I've got some Motion Pro tire irons. They aren't the fanciest, but they get the job done. I've changed a few tires with them. I've also got some Motion Pro rim protectors. I'll probably show you. I'm not always the most sensitive about 
trying to keep my rim pristine. I've also got some work gloves. We may use them, we may not. Um, we've got some Valvoline multi-purpose grease. We're going to need that um, when we put the tire back on. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a series of book reviews pretty soon. Two of the books that I'm going to cover will be The Essential Guide to Motorcycle Maintenance, Tips and Techniques to Keep Your Motorcycle in Top Condition by Mark Zimmerman. And then your handy dandy Haynes Service and Repair Manual. Um, this one in particular is for the CB500 series, the F, the X, and the, and the CBR500R, 2013 through 2015. As you guys know, of course, I'm rolling with the 2014 CB500X. And most importantly, I think one of the biggest differences when you're having to do a, a job on your bike is to have your, um, a good mechanic and a good partner in the job. So I have with me here young Nicholas. Yeah, I woke him up out the bed. Good morning, Nicholas. Wave to the fans. Nicholas also wave. Nicholas, like you're awake, Nicholas. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to get Nicholas out the bed on this good Father's Day morning to help out with the bike. He really is excited. And he's also worked on this type of stuff before, so he's, ex he's an experienced hand. Nicholas is also our primary editor um, for Rocket Rolls. So um, we are going to now um, stop the recording for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the prep work on here. We're going to take the tire off. And then we're, oh, I didn't bring my toolbox. Yeah, I'm going to take the tire off and we're going to um, change the tire. I may film a, bit, a little bit of the changing of the tire. And we will hopefully be, have Cinnamon back on her feet again. And just one more time for comparison. You can see the difference in the tread between the two tires. Uh, I think you can see it. But either way, um, the old tire is a Scorpion Trail 1. The second one is a Scorpion Trail 2. The old tire actually doesn't have that um, dual, dual tread. So I'm looking forward to putting a new and improved tire on there as well as a much younger tire. The original tire is seven years old. I'm well over the five year limit. Get a torque wrench and a breaker bar. Torque wrench, breaker bar. However, we're missing the hexagonal thingamajig. Uh -huh. Torque wrench, breaker bar, hexagonal thingamajig. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, ooh, yes. No, you're supposed to be doing it the other Reverse it. All right. So, uh, we're off to the store. We gotta go get a uh, torque wrench. What's the other stuff? Oh, uh, we have a torque wrench? Yes. We need to get a hexagonal thingy, majig, right? So we need a hexagonal thingamajig. Yes, we need a hexagonal thingamajig. Off to the store. Mm. Very good. Here's the breaker bar. Excuse me, here's the breaker bar. Here's the torque wrench. There's a remover for the um, oil can. We'll do that later. Here's some other parts. They'll come up later. But we're missing the hexagonal thingamajig, whatever it's called. Didn't even realize this was there. I've been riding dirty for two years without realizing I was missing a very key part. Explain to the people where we're going. We're on our way to the tool store because we were missing a part. We don't have a hexagonal thingamajig. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. Can In retrospect, I guess it doesn't really matter that I don't carry one on the bike. Mm. Because the reality is I wouldn't actually change my tire by taking it off. I plug tires. I use tubeless tires. And I do have my plug-in in my, in my air pump that I carry on the bike. I don't really need to be able to remove the tires when I'm out on the road or I'm out riding. Um, that's one of the advantages of riding, you know, tubeless tires and, and an adventure bike versus, say, like a dual sport where it's a strong possibility I would have had two tires. But we're on our way to the store. It shouldn't take us but 15 to 20 minutes. 
typical minor setback. But we're off on an adventure. We'll see you at the store. In the cage. Yeah. Your door's back down. Off the shoulder. Okay guys, we're at Home Depot to get the hexagon thingamajig. As you see here, we'll show you a way around. This camera was not working, but we made it. What did we find? You're looking for a thingamajig. Yeah, thingamajig. Yeah, yeah. You do know the actual name, right? No. Oh. Thingamajig. Okay. Yeah. A hexagonal thingamajig. Mmm. A it's hexagonal torque thingamajig. Mm-hmm. So basically, it looks like something that would go in here and then turn. sockets that we want but they're in standard we want it international we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find one that's close enough and make it work and if not we'll return it and order on Amazon and we're back from the store father what did we get we got the hexagonal thigamajig the half inch moment of truth that fit. Second moment of truth. It fits. Yeah. Now you gotta turn it. I don't know which way to turn it. Do, 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 do. Dang it. I've been showing your head this entire time. There you go. So yeah. We'll be back when we get the wheel off. All right, peace. All right, tell them. Lava. Hmm? Nah. This ain't right. This is not right. You can't break the bead. We're in the struggling process. But we got the wheel off. It took a while. And uh, we used the crate instead of our balance beam because the balance beam wasn't working. Might get a new one, as you can see. So yeah, we'll come back to you when we take off this side. Tell them what we just done. After a long, hard struggle. We've removed the old tire. Off of the rim. Now we gotta put the new tire on the rim. 
One thing you want to make sure you do correctly this time around, find your rotation arrows. Make sure you're pointed in the right direction. Otherwise, your tread is going to be backwards and you're not going to get the great grip that you want to get riding in the rain. These Pirelli Scorpions are really good for riding in the rain, but that's depending upon you putting them on in the right direction. And yeah, it's kind of hot out here and we're kind of tired. This is hard work. Normally, I think most people pay, but so far, Cinnamon hasn't seen the inside of a shop and my pride is preventing me from taking Cinnamon to the shop. Yeah. So talking what? Say when. Hey guys, what's up? We're back. We got the tire on and now we're about to take off the zip ties. What else do we have in store for the tire? Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the zip tie process. I'm not sure if it helped or hurt. But um We're here for it, so It took quite a while to get the tire back on after we took it off. As you can see the tires over there. So yeah, we'll come back to you whenever we- Yeah, the irony of all of this is, you would think that changing tires is the easiest thing to fixing on a bike. And it's actually one of the hardest things you do when you're fixing a bike. Mm-hmm. That's the irony of all of this. Okay. Um, let me see a tire iron. Where's that at? Nothing. What happened? So we just seated the tire, putting air in it. Uh, I think I set it at 35 PSI, which is where I like to ride on my front, anywhere from 34 to 36 on each tire. Um, I used to ride 36.42, but that's really too high because I'm always solo. Um, around 36 is usually good for the rear and the front tire. I may take it down as low as 32 sometimes, about 10% about below max. But um, we're about to put the tire back on. We just finished checking the brake pads. They look okay. So we probably won't be changing those, although um, it's due for some brake fluid. So we may do that on another day pretty soon. Look out for that video. But in the interim, we're just going to go ahead and put the tire back on and test it out, see how it feels. When do you think for the next time we're going to see Cinnamon around? Cinnamon should be back on the road today. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll record the test ride. Okay. Sounds good. intent of the ADV bike to be a great off-road um, motorcycle. It's designed to go down dirt roads and gravel roads for when you're traveling across some country.